when you talk about the lordship of jesus the christian pastor will tell you that you are preaching heresy because you are saying a message that is not for this time that jesus cannot reign on earth today because the people in the world have a choice so they will shout you down because they believe that you are against their organization that church organization they, they say you are against it so they will contend against you they will fight you down if you say that the church is supposed to pursue the lordship of jesus in every community that's to the church owner now to the typical christians if you meet a typical christian and tell him that we need to pursue the lordship of jesus it means we will walk in our communities and tell everybody in our communities that jesus is lord that means they should believe and obey him they should repent from their carnal ways they should believe mm. then they should obey him the christian will tell you what do you mean by that? You want to Christianize the world? That's what they will say. Do you want Christianity to be the state religion of the country? Everybody has the right to practice his religion. The Muslim wants to practice his religion. The pagan wants to practice his religion. Let the Christian practice his religion. Everybody live in peace. But that's not the position of the church. The position of the church in every nation, assigned to every nation, is to bring the nation into the obedience of faith in Jesus Christ. All the people that make up the nation, the government of the nation, the traditional leaders, the people of influence, the society molders, all the people that play a critical role in the sustainability of cities must come under the obedience of Jesus Christ. That's the gospel. Every authority every dominion every rule must come under the feet of jesus christ that's the agenda of the church assigned to any nation it's the same message in china is the same message in london is the same message in nigeria is the same message jesus is lord that means he's the new king that means jesus word is law Jesus word is law in the land. That means, do you know what this thing means? It will change the morality of the society. It will change the legal code of the society. It will change the moral code of the society. It will change the preference of the people that make up the communities. I'm telling you, if Jesus is Lord, if I go into my phone, I'm looking for a pornographic website, I will not see because we will ban it in this land. If the church is actually expressing authority, preaching a message. This is why the, the elders of the early church, all of them were killed. Just John that they left. Because they went into every community with one agenda. To make the community a disciple. Make that nation a disciple. That means everything Jesus said, the nation will make it their constitution. That's what the church is supposed to be. Remember, it was difficult that time. Because Rome were running a monarchical system. It was a, it was a Roman Empire. There was a king. Caesar was the king. So anybody that come and say that there is a king, there is another king, his name is Jesus. And he demand that people should should come to the end of themselves and obey him that person is ready to die that's why they were persecuting the early church burning them at stake cutting them to pieces feeding them to lions hanging them in guillotine you don't you know caesar is lord in this land in fact they built a statue for caesar and say you must worship that statue If Caesar says something, because Caesar was a pagan worshipper, if Caesar says something, the church will say no. Jesus said we should not do that. Jesus said we should not do that. Then they will persecute the church. The church will be happy. Believers will be happy. 
They were happy to die for what they believed. And that's the position of the church. The church that time had disciples, disciples that died for thought that Jesus is Lord. Now the world gave us Christianity. We have freedom of religion. Practice your religion, but don't say Jesus is Lord. Practice your religion, support the state, and the state is bending this government. Are you not seeing our government? You not see how it will be. That's exactly what Satan has done with Christianity. It's Satan that started Christianity. When men slept, Satan now gave them something that looks like Christ. So we talk about Christ, but you deny the power. The godliness is the reign of God, right? Godliness, the ordering of God. They deny the power thereof, the power to bring communities under righteousness. The Christian church cannot have gold for one nation. We will never get Maryland. Maryland, though, all of Maryland, we're supposed to tie out the principalities where they work for Maryland. We're supposed to break and cast out every demon where they inspire girls to sell their body. We suppose cast out demons where they where they inspire boys to do Yahoo. All those act demons where they drink blood for that road. We suppose tie all of them. Principalities where they make all those small small perspective for finish station. We suppose they pray for those people. They break everybody where they hold of the devil. All those businesses where they marry land, where people they change figures every day. People they sleep with another man wife for marry land. That be our prayer. When in time church gather, we they pray for all these people. That's why they said the church shall be the house of prayer for all nations. Everybody where they under the hold of the devil, they are our assignments. We are not praying for ourselves. We are not praying for our breakthrough. We are not praying for our miracle. No. We gather so that we we'll advance the agenda of God in our community. After we pray finish, we have campaign for these people. Today we have meetings for Yahoo boys. Let's integrate them back into the city of righteousness. Tomorrow we have meeting for prostitutes. Everybody that came to church is a prostitute. And we are engaging them and trying to tell them that there is a better life. Then the money that we have made, we don't use it to build five-star building, big building, or buy private jets. We use the money to build vocational centers for these prostitutes to integrate them back into the community. That is the church. After we pray for politicians, we have a message to politicians. How God wants them, how Jesus wants them to politic. We have a message to the police. We have a message to entertainers. We have a message to policy makers. We have a message to legislators. We have a message to senators. We have a message to council or local government chairman to teachers. We have a message to students. All these are programs, though. The program that they talk about, though. If church gets events, not be concerts, not be worship concert, no. Church gets events, not be um, um, bazaar, what is it they call it? All these programs we will get, we not they will not get direction. Your 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 visa now, go and get your visa. Um, Mama, why you do me so? All these programs, where will they get so? Bazaar night, your miracle night for Christians. No, that's not the agenda of the church. The agenda of the church is to be God's hand that will reach the community that is under the yoke of the devil. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is the this is this gospel of the kingdom that the early church died for. Praise God. Mm. We 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 know about this. The falsehood of Christianity and the falsehood of the churches, but putting the correction, the corrective measures are very, 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 very real, and the church is not willing to listen. They are not Nobody has to listen. Their own way. They are not listening. They want to pick their own way. Yes. The church is carnal, but they are preaching against carnality. Yes. The church is proud, and they are preaching against pride. The church is uh, the Christian is, church. Uh, you see, I like to I like to use the Christian church because the Christian church is not the church. The Christian church is proud. The Christian church uh, is not the church of Christ. It's the Christian church. So I like to make it, it's not one church, the Christian churches because they are not one. 
the Christian churches are uh, uh, our work eh, what I'm doing now eh, we don't need pulpit to do this gospel all we need is what we have your your place of influence if not marketplace so if not um, town hall anywhere that people are gathering that you know that you have influence over them start impregnating them with the jesus is lord do you remember scripture it says not one of my law commandment will go back void until it performs it it performs the counsel for which it was sent do you remember that scripture it will return void jesus said it with his mouth that everyone that practices this commandment and teach people to practice it he shall be greatest in the kingdom of heaven you practice the commandments of god you teach people how to observe them what are the commandments of god thou shall not revenge you see that girl don't look at the girl to have sex with her that's the commandment of god don't swear thou shall not swear at all that's the commandment that jesus christ gave do you remember great commission teach them to observe all whatsoever i have commanded you the guys define the place of the church there jesus has defined his body's place in every city now we just want do it in we want to we they do it in we like uh, we just we are, we are working iniquity iniquity is unauthorized activity that means the person is active the person is using his gift the person is using what he calls the anointing but is carrying out unauthorized activity it's not the activity that god said that we should carry out that we are carrying out everybody is doing what he likes everybody is doing what he likes but that will end it will end it will end call again maybe uh, much later maybe tomorrow or or during the day Um, thank you for your time and god bless you that's okay